Anyway, my, my tenure one actually carries on from yours. Oh, mine's the same thing. Oh, a hive mind? Mm. Mine is a, mine's mine's a hive different. mind uh, in uh, 10 years. Based on, you know, hive 45, saying there's going to be a collective hive mind in 2045. Don't even want to think about that. That's just ridiculous. Yeah. That's too far in the future. 10 years, I think we can roughly say, well, my prediction is it's going to be uh, more of a hive mind. This is more of a social thing more than anything. I think we're actually going to start to see more social movements saying that, hey, I'm a part of, say, like, you know, Twitter's like a big thing or Reddit, I'm a big thing. And you feel like you're a part of that group. That, you know, the collective, like, idea of nation states and all of that. Identities. So. Identities Ooh. more with hive okay. minds in 10 years because people are going to, I mean, the, the idea is that you should always look to the, the children right now. What are they using to actually grow up? Uh, I'm serious. Like, I mean, what they use is going to be the future. I yeah. mean, a lot of people consider themselves as different parts online and getting the, you know, the, the, the furor there, the, the feather, the feather, I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, but yeah. The, <laughs> the feather. 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 F-E-V-E-R. Religious feather. You're mentioning looking at children and feathers. <laughs> it's going into weird place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, I, I think in 10 years that it's going to be, uh, like, there's already, like, you know, the jokes of the nation state of Facebook that it's such a big place, half a billion people, and it's always yes. growing. I mean, I think there's going to be more of a hive mind, say, a, a la Reddit, a la Dig, a la Twitter, a la Facebook, a la all yeah. of the other massive forums, at, a la Goons, there's something awful. I was there way back. That was my teenage years. Like, I mean, you, you, you start to see yourself more collective there. And I, I think that's going to actually impact mainstream society. I think 10 years from now, people are going to very closely start to associate themselves with these large collective groups. That's a, I've never thought of that before for some reason. That's fucking cool. That's... Cool. <laughs> that's, yeah, like, like almost um, essentially... Because I mean, you look at... Na identify what a nation is. Identify what culture is. It's nothing more than people collectively... Yeah. They're just in, there. In, I mean, in their lines in the sand. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, why not? Like, why not call yourself a redditor or a Facebooker or a yeah. digger? Like, why not? Your culture in your country can be, you know, yeah. web apps. And it sounds so yeah. silly and stupid now, but it's kind of like you know, Arthur C. Clarke. You have to be a little bit weird going there. But I mean, at least I'm hoping you can see sort of the logic in what I'm saying. That maybe you see it a little bit around. That I'm thinking ten years from now, I think that's going to be a stronger force. I see that trend only increasing. Yeah. And so that's why I consider that to be my 10 year prediction. That's pretty cool. Um, mine's a little... <laughs> I don't want to say this now. Mine's a, <laughs> mine's a little bit more uh, aggressive, I guess. Um, okay, immersive AI. Okay, explain. In a, in a, <laughs> definitely explain. Okay, not, not sentient AI, not like... Again, I fucking hate Hollywood. Cause Hollywood, um, it's kind of kills the whole idea, of, logical idea of what AI is. Yeah. Again, it's not going to be robots running around. It's not going to be a Terminator shit. Fuck off. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, really? Yeah. Again, if, if, if you think that, please reevaluate your position. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm thinking 10 years semantic web. I, I've talked about this before, but the semantic web, go, go look it up. Um, the semantic web is essentially about treating the entire internet as a single database, in a sense, where every single piece of information down to the period is connected to every other single piece of information on the net in in either you know logical like you know you know Tristan Grace is in this database oh Tristan Grace is also in this database therefore this data is the same but also in abstract um, concepts like you know this idea is very similar to this idea how about we same idea how about we connect them and there's a lot of companies out there at the moment that are trying to do this stuff but they're, they're so fatty but um there's going to be something that actually pushes the maturation of the semantic web. Yeah. And, okay, the brilliance of the semantic web is once that data is all connected and any new data that's added is instantly connected to every other piece of data, I mean, that is a brain. The brain operates that's exactly the same yeah. way. I mean, every single neuron is connected to every other single neuron in a certain fashion. Give like, an example assuming that voice recognition works. Show how it is AI. I mean, you, you've done it before. Okay, yeah, it yeah, okay, Assuming yeah. voice recognition works. Should I use the plain uh, I can't really use the plain mm, one's not bad. You think of anything crazy? Wait, well, well, yeah, I can't really, I haven't really thought from that angle. Okay. Well, see, I, I'll just do the plain example again, just because it's, it, I've heard it so many times and it's simple and it makes sense. With the semantic web, um, say you're catching a plane, it's a, a, you know, 45 minute flight, you're watching, on the plane you can watch a movie, so it's an hour and a half long. You catch a plane, you know, it lands and you're like, oh shit, I, you know, the movie only got like, you know, 45 minutes in and you're like, oh, well, crap. Um, 
But then you go into your hotel, wherever you're going, wherever you landed, and you load on the TV, and because the TV's all interconnected to the so net. It's not even a TV, it's really just your browser again, isn't it? Or well, it's, it's just a, it's, it's a Google TV. Yeah, it's just a screen. <laughs> yeah. You, you it's turn it on. to the cloud. You turn it on and it says, hey, Mr. Waters, would you like to finish watching your movie? XXXX. No, no sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jesus man. Christ, what type of movies are you watching, boy? <laughs> on a plane! There are kids on those! There are Jesus. snakes on the plane. No, oh, just gosh. extreme porn. No. <laughs> God damn. I was using that to fill in the title. Okay. Oh, you're filling in more than that. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's say Star Wars, you know, A New Hope or something. Whatever. Um, and it says, do you want to watch the rest of that? And you say, you say, oh, sure, yeah, I've got nothing else to do. I'm just landing on jet lagged as fuck. Yeah. And you press play, it starts playing from the instant you left it. Yeah. And that, that sounds like magic. Actually, it probably doesn't sound like magic anymore. We're probably like, oh, yeah, that's it's probably just, yeah, that's, that's cool. Normal. But, um, if you actually have the semantic web where all that data is interlinked and because the, the flight you're on, it actually knows which seat you're in, who you are, what movie you're watching and when it finished, they then share that data openly as much as possible to any hotels in the region, hotels pick it up, you you check in as, you know, this person, it knows, okay, you just came off this flight at this time, and you're watching this movie in this mm -hmm. scene, you finished at this time. And then it says, hey, links it to your TV, to your particular room number, and says, do you want to keep watching this? Yeah. I mean, very, very simple idea, but you can do so many more things. You can have literally all these, they're called AI agents. That is one example of an AI agent. Yeah. And that, you make that program, it operates Automatically. Well, I, I love the idea of the dentist and stuff. That, that that's what I thought the, was kind of cool. That, yeah. yeah. Imagine having like Explain an AI that. secretary, um, like saying that, hey, um, hey Google or hey dude, I'm gonna call it the AI program dude. I love it called dude. There you go. Hey dude. Um, yeah. No, I totally. I think I need to go to the dentist. Can you like uh, book me in? And so then what it does automatically it scans all the local dentists in the area. It knows where I am. It knows all of that. Works out with their system as well because it's linked in and saying, hey, yeah, you, you can go free here. And so then dude says, yeah, dude, um, <laughs> look, I, I, I booked you in for 10 a.m. on Monday. You've got nothing else free. So, uh, yeah, go in and do that. I mean, isn't that pretty much AI that we're talking to an inanimate object and saying, hey, look, I need a dentist appointment. Oh, look, hey, uh, well, I'd love a pizza. Can you order that through Domino's with the latest coupon? Cheers, dude. Yeah. Well, this is, this is why I've been trying to push it for a long time. The, the semantic web is AI. It's not sentient AI, it's not, it, but it'll seem that way. It'll be, you know, kind of emergent. Yeah. Again. But, um, because you'll have all these AI agents, like that's the, um, scheduling it. It's like your yeah. personal assistant just does everything for you. And you can, you can ask it like, oh, no, nah, sorry, that one's too expensive. Or that's too far away. Or, yeah. you know, find me something a bit closer. It, yeah. yeah. And you can do that with all voice recognition, which is, it's damn near perfect now. Yeah. It is so crazy. Um, it's great. <laughs> and then the idea is combine... Uh, voice recognition, the semantic web, and recommendation engines, and that will be AI. It will appear to be AI. Yeah, it just yeah. won't be. It just won't be sentient. But that is just an yeah. emergent concept anyway. Yeah, because it'll it'll be giving you all this crazy information that you just love, like one hundred percent. That's the mm. whole. The ultimate game of recommendation engine is one hundred percent content. You love this, and then you ask it anything, and because it's interconnected to all the information literally the around the world. The one database of the world. The yeah. one database of the world. And and, and look look up the, the, the data. The, there's RDF standards and it's called, a thing called ontologies which actually connects it all. And it, it knows. It's essentially bringing this whole internet super machine down to our level and telling it when we say cat, we mean this. When yeah. we say dog, we mean this. <laughs> when we string all these words together, this is what we mean. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> God. I mean, because we and this is it is like it is. I like to I like to think of humans as ants. Like I love watching ants docu ant yep. documentaries. We're we're fucking ants. We're a swarm intelligence. We only we only survive through collective intelligence through collective will. Yeah. Otherwise, we're just we're the most primitive species ever. No. Nah. Well, okay, we're the most we're the most advanced species on this earth, but we're still relatively so primitive. primitive. Well, that, that kind of leads to, to my next one to the to the twenty years. Now, I'd I'd like to preface this by saying on Arthur C. Clarke, if you don't sound extreme, you don't really you're not doing it right. Especially well, obviously, if you're predicting your, the future. Your first one's going to be flying cars. Oh yeah, definitely. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's an exponential technology. I mean, you see the growths in that all the time. Again, I hate Hollywood. Yeah, flying car. Well, the one thing I did get right was video phones. At least, what do you mean video phone? Oh, of course, that's just Skype. What do you mean? That's nothing special. 
Fuck you! <laughs> my <laughs> god, as a kid! <laughs> I dreamt of video phones, now I never use a damn thing, oh, so I was like, you know what? Tablets? iPad tablets? Tablets, yeah. yeah. So I was like, oh, it's just an iPad tablet. No, it's not just that, it's a lot. Anyway, okay, my, my big thing for 20 years, after that little rage. Yep. I think we're going to see the foundations of a new economy. I think that's going to happen in 20 years. I think that's going to start to uh, rival the, the world's economy and start to be the online economy. We're going to see a new currency start to take over from the dollar from everything else. The Rallod. The Rallod. What's that? It's a dollar backwards. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the uh, dude off the Ingenesis project uses that. Oh, he uses Rallod. I think just as a way to explain to people. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, sure, Rallod. <laughs> I like Ingenesis. It's still a silly name. <laughs> yeah, I, the reason I think that is that, um, yeah. I don't know, uh, we're seeing this around a lot that, like, the idea of the billion dollar company really, um, got to me, really made me starting to think that we're seeing billion dollar companies happen a lot more, like come faster and faster and faster. When we get to that point of say, a billion dollar company can happen within months or even less than that, when a billion dollar company can happen within days, our current economic system won't work for that. What you want is to allow that type of growth in a more, in a different environment, in an online environment. I don't know how this is going to work. I, I have theories, but none of them are right yet. None of them are they're, they're, they're silly theories. I'd love, I'd love to share them and actually like, get some feedback because I need feedback. At the moment, they're very limited. They've got flaws. But that, that's why I think is going to happen within, yeah, within 20 years. And we're going to see the foundation. It's not going to be the main one. Not, not within 20 years. You don't get that type of societal change within there. But what, it's going to be a necess mm. necessity of creation that because all these companies can actually produce all this amazing production within such a short span of time... I don't think our economies will be able to keep up. And so I think there's going to be a new economy based around the web, based around connectivity. It doesn't have to be the web, just around the connectivity somewhere. That, I mean, how we all interact. I mean, there's ideas of the attention economy. There's ideas of the knowledge economy. There's all these different ones. I mean, Same, the yeah. whispers are there. And that's why I think 20 years is where we're going to start to see it happening. Again, we're, we're predicting very far into the future. So. Yeah. Well, I think I'm... Um, yeah. In that, there won't be any corporations in that state. Right, I disagree. I think I'm really, right. yeah, because well, really? corporation corporations are just groups of people. The, the idea of what we well, have exactly. corporations now is is different. Like why, why not say that we've got a lot of groups together and we just say, hey, let's organize into a single business entity. That's all a corporation is. We're a corporation. Well, well yeah, in that in that sense, I mean, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. There won't be corporations. There'll be like a group of people will say. Yeah, but that's all a corporation is, and it doesn't even—they don't even have to actually, actually have to actually have to actually know each other. I mean, the cement no, no. web. Well, just, that's very true. Anyone puts out an idea, it could instantly grab all those ideas, combine yeah. them around together, and see what happens. Yeah, well, that, that's very true as well. But yeah, okay, so, I, I, I can agree get, with you there. You get creative sort of. I think corporations artificial. will be a lot less that you get. Yeah, it's more the individual, just a close team, a close it's twenty years. Team. Yeah. Like the, there'll still be corporations obviously running a lot of the stuff you can't change like you know the coal coming by in the train <laughs> god there's a lot of trains yeah. recently um, but yeah I think 20 years from now the individual ceases to exist mm, no I, I, I disagree I, you, the individual ceases to exist what, what, what do you mean that it's the collective that matters it already does well yeah that, that's what I mean like I mean what, what do you mean the, the individual ceases to exist even more in some sense. I can't really explain it, but... Um, well, that is a trend. I mean, that, that that's fair enough. That trend is has been happening yeah. over the past while. But um, in terms of, like, I think 20 years from now, governments will not exist. <laughs> By, oh. Like, they... I, I'm, I, no, I, I totally disagree with that. No, I think you can't get that amount of societal change in 20 years. Really? No. No. I'm thinking, like, just a little over 10 years from now, governments nah. may not... You no, know, they'll still be around, but they will have very little influence in terms of public policy and everything.